Okay, so we are going to do some angle of depression and elevation word problems with our trig ratios. Um, so on these problems, you will need to for sure draw pictures. Without a picture on these problems, they're going to be really difficult and hard to understand. Um, so we have angle of elevation, which is the angle made looking up. Okay, An angle of depression is the angle made when we're looking down. Okay, So the first one is an angle of depression, so made when we're looking down. So we're talking about a hot air balloon. So we have a hot air balloon up here. Um, and its landing site is 20 degrees. So the angle of depression is 20 degrees. So what that means is if we are looking straight out, this angle of depression would be 20 degrees. Okay. Um, the balloon is 200 meters above the ground. So here's 200 meters right here. This makes a 90 degree angle with the ground. If the balloon continues to descend at that angle, so the angle, so they're descending at that 20 degree angle, okay? How many meters is the balloon from landing, okay? So they are wanting to figure out how many meters the balloon is from landing. Now, this angle of depression right here is 20 degrees. That is not the angle that's inside right here, okay? This is a right triangle. This is parallel to this, right? So if we think about back to our parallel lines and transversals, alternate interior angles are congruent. But also this angle with this angle makes a 90 degree angle, so that would be 70 degrees there, and this would be 20 degrees. So now we have all the angle measures, okay? So if the balloon continues to descend, how many meters is the balloon from landing? So we are going to find this, how many meters it will have to go before it actually lands on the ground, okay? So we're going to use one of these angles. It doesn't matter which one, either the 70 up there or the 20 down here. I'm just going to circle this one because we're going to find a side length using our, our tangent ratios or our trig ratios. So we're going to use so, ka, and toa, one of those. So this side is hypotenuse and this side is opposite. So the one that uses O and H is so. So I'm going to do sine of 20 degrees equals O, which is 200, over H, which is X. Put this over the 1 to set up the proportion. I'm going to cross multiply, so I get X times the sine of 20 equals 200. And then I'm going to divide by the sine of 20. So I'm going to do on my calculator 200 divided by the sine of 20, and I get X equals 584.8 meters from landing. That is an angle of depression. And do you guys see how important these pictures are? So we're not going to be able to actually solve these without pictures, so make sure you have those. Um, a pair of sailors attached to a boat with a rope. So we have a boat here. It's on water. It is a pretty boat. It's attached to a rope. So a pair of sailor are those people that like sit up here on the little contraption that are pulled by a rope. This rope is 300 feet long. The angle of elevation to the parasailer, so angle of elevation goes from the straight line up, is 48 degrees. How high is the parasailer above the water? So this is our 90 degree angle. So there's my right triangle. They gave me that angle of, or angle of elevation down here, so I'm going to use this angle. This is hypotenuse, and this is opposite, right? So we want to find that height. So O and H, again, is sine, so we're going to do sine of 48 equals X over 300, because O over H, put this over 1, cross multiply. 300 times the sine of 48 equals X. Okay, so I don't have to divide by anything because X is already by itself, so I'm going to do sine of 48 times 300, and I get X is 222.9, um feet above the water. And we know it's feet because they use feet here. So same units. All right, next one. Go ahead and pause me and see if you can do this one on your own. And pause me when you're done. A railroad track rises 50 feet for every 400 feet long the track. So it rises 50 feet for every 400 feet long the track is. What is the measure of the angle to the nearest tenth 
the track forms with the horizontal. So they're wanting this angle right here, okay? So this is an inverse trig function, right? Because we want to find that angle. So this is hypotenuse and this is opposite. So this would be sine inverse of 50 over 400. Since we're finding an angle measure, it's inverse trig. So sine inverse of 50 divided by 400. And I get, that's a 7.2 degree angle measure right there. It's a skinny angle measure, okay? Because if you're going 400 feet and you're just rising 50 feet, that's not that much. All right. Back. All right, so an eagle spotted a mouse with a horizontal ground distance of 20 feet. So there's a little mouse here, 20 feet. The angle of depression is 40 degrees. So the eagle's up here. The ground distance is that. It's angle of depression, so this would be 42 feet, or 42 degrees, sorry. So the inside angle, those have to add to 90, so I'm gonna do 90 minus 42. This is 48 degrees, okay? That would make this 42 degrees down here, right? If the angle flies along its line of sight, how far will it have to fly in order to reach its prey? So we're finding this angle down there. So I'm going to circle this angle. That's the one I'm gonna use. This is opposite, this is hypotenuse, so this is a sine again. So sine of 48 is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Put this over one, cross multiply. X times the sine of 48 equals 20, divide by the sine of 48. So on my calculator, I'm going to do 20 divided by the sine of 48. And I get that x equals 26.9, and that would be feet that he would fly in order to get to that little mouse. Okay, go ahead and pause me. I want you to try number five and six on your own. Unpause me when you're done. Make sure that you have the picture that goes with it. So a ladder that's 15 feet long rests against the house. So we have this ladder. This ladder is 15 feet long. It rests against the house. Here's the ground, right? Um, the foot of the ladder rests on the ground level three feet from the wall. So this is three feet from this wall. What angle does the ladder form with the ground to the nearest tenth? So they're wanting this angle. Okay. So this side is adjacent and this side is hypotenuse. So that would be a cosine. But we're finding an angle measure, so that would be cosine inverse of adjacent over hypotenuse. So cosine inverse of 3 divided by 15. <clears throat> and that would be a 78.5 degree angle right there. And once you found that, you should be able to find this side length if needed by using Pythagorean theorem or a trig function. And then you should be able to find this angle measure by subtracting this from 90. All right, last one. You're skiing on a mountain with an altitude of 1,200 meter, meters. The angle, so here's my mountain. Altitude would be this. Okay. Um, altitude of 1,200 meters. The angle of depression, so you're all the way up here, so this angle of depression is 21 degrees, right? So that means this angle down here is also 21 degrees. About how far do you ski down the mountain? So that's my X. I can also put this angle measure in because 21 or 90 minus 21 is 69. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna use this angle. This is opposite, this is hypotenuse. So O and H would be sine. So I'm gonna do sine of 21 equals 1200 over x. Put that over 1. I'm going to cross multiply so I get x times the sine of 21 equals 1200. Divide by the sine of 21. And I get x equals 3348.5 meters. And that is my correctly.
Okay, your homework. So you need to complete this sheet. It says angle of depression and elevation homework. There are some, sorry guys. There are some um, word problems, so you need to make sure that you draw a picture for those guys. And it could be um, inverse trig functions or regular trig functions. All right, thanks guys.